Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am here with a tag video. I was tagged by the gorgeous Lux Handbag Lover on Instagram and YouTube. I'll leave her handles down below. She tagged me and I was so excited when I got tagged because I've never been tagged in something like this before. I'm really new to the Lux community. I did have a luxury Instagram several years ago, but it was very... It was not like the one I created now, so it was just so different. And I feel like now that I have started YouTube again and just really kind of dove deep into the community, um, I was very grateful to be tagged in this. So thank you so much for tagging me. That was so sweet of you, and I can't wait to see everyone else's video. She did tag a lot of people, but I will also tag the people on Instagram that I follow and that follow me back. Um, that I would like to see do this video. So I'm just going to read her post so that I don't mess anything up. So what you do is you use your name. I'm just going to use my first name, Shannon. So S-H-A-N-N-O-N -N -N, and I pick items out of my closet that start with that letter. So a couple of them I had to cheat on because I did not have something with that letter in the beginning so you'll see what I mean later um okay so here we go so the first letter I have is S and I chose to show my Louis Vuitton Speedy B 30 in the Damier of Bean canvas so you did see that I unboxed the 25 but this handbag is just it's my favorite I love this probably more than the Speedy B 25 and it's just so carefree. I carried this to the mall today when I went to the Louis Vuitton store to pick up my new handbag, which hopefully you'll have seen that already, so it won't be a surprise, or you can check out my Instagram to see my reveal. Um, but this bag is just so good. It's big enough to carry everything you need to carry. It's so carefree because of the Ebean canvas. I know a lot of people like monogram because of the softer leather, but honestly, I don't find this to be uncomfortable at all, especially after having it for a while. It's soft. It's not digging into my shoulder. It's very, very comfortable. And I did remove the middle strap from this, and I really enjoy carrying this bag 100% more than when I had the long strap attached to it, when I had the middle strap and had it crossbody. I carry this bag so much more now that it's just a shoulder bag. Um, I think I just prefer it that way and it's just it's so good so I just have a bunch of junk in here I um I did switch out my bag from this to my new bag that I got and so this just has leftover stuff that isn't really a necessity that I just kind of had in here because it fit but yeah this is such a good bag if I could pick one speedy to get and have it would absolutely be the speedy I think that the bandolier version makes this handbag I don't think I would want this bag if it didn't have at least a shoulder strap. Some people may ask, do you think it's worth to get the um, bandolier version? 100%. Absolutely. I totally think that you can wear this bag in probably three or four different ways. You can take the straps off completely. You can have it on your shoulder like this without the middle strap. You can have it long with the middle strap as a shoulder bag and you can have it crossbody with a long strap. So there's a f several ways you can wear this bag and I think that having the shoulder strap in the bandolier version just makes this bag so much more versatile and so much better in my opinion. Um, and again, this size and print is just absolutely perfect. As much as I admire the monogram canvas, I think that I like Damir Abin because I don't have to stress about it. Like, I can bring this bag out and not worry if it rains. I live in New England and it's the weather changes like three times a day. So, it can be raining in the morning, get really hot during the day, and then rain again at night. So, it's so unpredictable. So, this print for me is just so carefree and just so reliable so I definitely love this bag and highly recommend it and it's probably one of my favorite bags in my collection. The next item that I chose was the Coach Hutton wallet. It's H-U-T-T-O-N. So this wallet 
I do have to admit, I am selling this while this is the only thing with an H that I could like think of. Um, but it is a really, really nice wallet. It's very well made, feels very sturdy and nice. And I bought it for my Palm Springs PM backpack. Um, it looks like a compact wallet, but it's very generous in its size and what it fits. So here it is. So it does have like a mark here, but other than that, it's in excellent condition so okay so when you open it you can put cash here you can open it this way and have all these compartments here so many card slots and they're generous again so you can fit as many cards as you need and then it also has these card slots in the front and then the coin section with even more dividers so like the amount of space and card slots that this wallet has was absolutely perfect for what I needed. Um, but I did just like replace this with another wallet I'll show you and another wallet that I unboxed. So you guys saw my Aunt Prat unboxing. Um, if not, you can check that out. I'll leave it down below or just click my name and my channel will show up. I only have a few videos so far, so it's not too hard to find. If you're looking to pack a punch with a wallet, I highly recommend this one. And there's even a slip pocket in the back so this is just it's very nice I like it a lot and if I didn't purchase other wallets that replaced it I would definitely keep it next is a gorgeous bag that is called the Apollo Chevron Gucci Marmont handbag so yes this bag I originally wanted the small version of this and I bought I have this in three colors I picked I wanted the white the white was sold out and then I found it on fashion file I found a yellow one and I had to have it because it was yellow of course and it was a really good deal and so I purchased it and it came in and I had it sitting in the box for a few days after I opened it and I was looking, I was still looking for my bag and then I just looked over at it and I was like, that's not even the bag I thought I bought. I thought I bought the original Gucci small Marmont crossbody bag and that's not what this is. This is the Apollo. Um, I like, side note, I like this better. This is what I wanted. So then I went on a crazy hunt for like other colors of this bag because it's, I think it's discontinued. I can't find it anywhere. And the ones that I did find for a good price, I bought. <laughs> and the ones that were like $2,600, those stayed on like the real real. Um, totally not, not for that. This bag retailed for $1,600 brand new or a little bit more, maybe $1,690. Um, I got this for less than $1,000. I got the Fashion File one for way less than $1,000. And then the white one I got for $1,200. So these bags are absolutely beautiful. I love this style um, because it's a, it's a little bit bigger. So it definitely is better for me. Um, it does have a little pocket in the front, which I love because I can just throw my phone in there. Um, it, does, it doesn't have an adjustable strap, but this hits me in a really nice spot, so I don't need it. I like that it has the like it has the chicness of a chain strap but then it also has the leather so it's not killing your shoulder um, and like the it goes pretty far so it like protects here and it protects your back and it's so so nice and then it has the tassels on both sides and then you can close it like that and when it's full it's it's so nice and it packs way more than I thought it would. Um, and that's why, like, when I bought it and I noticed that it was the bigger size, I was like, I wouldn't want something smaller than this. This is perfect for me. I would say this is more of a medium-sized crossbody bag. Um, but on the inside, it needs a little dusting. Uh, I have, like, I had a glitter wallet in here, and you can see the flecks of glitter. Um, but it has a zipper pocket. It has some card slots on this side. And it has, like, this micro um, microfiber suede interior 
Um, again, I need to like clean it up. Maybe I'll put some like spray in here. Um, but this is gorgeous and I got good deals on almost all of them. Um, there is somewhere on this bag, but like I don't, I don't worry about it. Um, that's kind of like my joy of buying some used handbags. If they're a good deal and there's slight wear on them, it just, it puts my mind at ease. Like I just bought a new handbag from Louis Vuitton and I'm, I used it, but I'm like nervous. I'm not going to bring it to work because I don't want something to spill on it or something to happen to it. Um, so like this already has some like fading on the corners. Um, but I mean, if it gets color transfer, if it gets whatever, it's used. I'm using it. I'm loving it. I'm appreciating it. So I try, I've been trying not to worry so much about like, yes, if I want to sell it in the future, I want it to be in fairly good condition. But at the same time, I'm not buying to sell anymore. Like I used to do that. I used to buy and then sell things because I found out so quickly that it doesn't work for me. But the bags that I buy now, I know I'm going to use. So I don't really care if something, I care if something happens to it, but I'm not like crushed, you know, to the, it depends. You know, there's a fine line. Like I don't want to trash my bags, but if it has little color transfer or fading, it's well loved. So it is what it is, but I highly recommend this. If I can find this bag, I will at least put the name on it it was so hard to track down I stalked websites for so long um, I ended up purchasing the white one from Mercari that's I wanted the white bag to begin with and then I ended up with this one and the yellow one but I'm glad I have all of them I'm really glad I have all of them um, but yeah so this is the Apollo Chevron Gucci um, Marmot crossbody and the rose, I think it's called rose beige or nude. I don't know. I feel like I see so many diff different names for this color, but it's the like typical blush, rosy nude color. Um, and yeah, I love this bag. I used it pretty solid for the first like month I had it. Um, I honestly should like switch back into it because I really like it. And if I had to choose one color, as much as I love yellow, as much as I love the white, I haven't used the white yet and I haven't used the yellow yet. Um, and I've had those longer than this one. Um, but this one is the most carefree in my opinion. This is the most like, I feel like versatile. So if you had to pick one color, I would pick this one. That's why I chose this one to show. The next is going to be an item I just unboxed, which is the Louis Vuitton Neverfull MM with the gorgeous mimosa interior. So the and for never full and i did put some air paper in here but here is this gorgeous bag this is absolutely stunning you guys know i was probably so annoying in that video and i apologize if i was but this bag is just such uh, i can't even explain like i just love yellow like this sweatshirt is probably probably my favorite because it has the color yellow in it and i'm just obsessed with it so this bag, everyone knows the Neverfull. I have another Neverfull to show as well because um, I have so many ends in my name and that's like the only bag I could think of besides one other. Um, but yeah, this bag is absolutely stunning. The MM size is, it's so perfect. It's so perfect for every day. Um, it still packs a punch. You can carry everything you need, your necessities, plus like a sweatshirt or some snacks or a water bottle or whatever you need. It all fits in here. Um, and originally why I switched from um, the MM to the GM size was because I was packing this full every day. But honestly, if you're, if you're packing your never full MM every day and you're thinking about getting the GM, just stick with the MM. It's doing its job. Um, you may be filling it to the brim, but I'll tell you a little bit more about that when I get to the GM size. But I would totally, if you had to pick one for every day, choose this one. If you want something for travel, get a backpack, um, get something like that. But I do love my Neverfull GM for travel, but if you just like 
absolutely could not have both. I would stick with the MM. It's just, it's really good size. If I was a handbag, I'd be this handbag. It's like classic on the outside and bright on the inside and I just absolutely adore it. The next bag is going to be another Neverfull and I'll just do it like this because I just talked about the MM. So I got this one. This is the Neverfull GM in the Bean canvas and I thought about selling this bag and honestly if I had sold this bag I would be really upset. Um, I was going to sell it to fund something else and I just decided not to. I think that I would have regretted it. Um, so as much as I say this isn't great for every day, it's not. It's honestly not for what I need it for. I think that like the Speedy B30 size and the Neverfull MM size is plenty enough for my everyday bag like going to work um going to the store it's perfect as far as like traveling and like weekend trips i would recommend this bag so it's definitely a lot bigger like so much bigger um i kind of like forget how big it is when you like look at other small bags all the time you realize how big this is and like how like I don't know I can't imagine I feel like you can still fit a laptop in the MM so I'm not really sure like what occupation you would have that you need to carry this every day or maybe you just like to um, I mean if you were carrying your bag your necessities a sweatshirt a water bottle maybe then you would need this every day um, but yeah this bag is absolutely gorgeous again I'm I'm really happy that I have this in this canvas and the Neverfulls in the canvases I have those in. This bag, if I'm traveling, if I'm toting this around for a weekend trip, I don't want to worry about Vaquetta. I want to carry this, wear it, throw it in my car. Again, not treat it like crap, but just be able to not worry about it. I worry about Vaquetta way too much and I feel like I just need to get over it. Um, but yeah, I love this and then it does come with the pouch. I bought this one brand new. The other Neverfulls I have I did not buy brand new so it didn't come with the pouches. I thought about buying extra pouches but they're going anywhere from like four to seven hundred dollars and I don't use this one alone enough to kind of justify me getting it in another print. If I need one, I have one. Um, I mean, I use this for receipts and bank, um, like passports if I need it. Um, but generally I don't use this like in my everyday handbags. Um, so it just stays in here when I'm not using it. Uh, but like this pocket, this side pocket, I will put so much stuff in here and it's just, it's like never ending. If you're just working a job where you're just going to and from work and you don't have a ton of running around to do. As far as like traveling goes, I would get the MM size. If you are someone who's traveling a lot for work and literally will like take the train or go on airplanes a lot, then I would suggest getting the GM size. If you can only have one, that is. Like if you can get both, get both. Trust me. I mean, it's nice to have both. If you're just like getting down to it, like I can have one of these, which one should I get? If you are constantly traveling, commuting, I would say go for the GM because you can put your lunchbox in here along with your handbag essentials, along with a sweatshirt, along with your laptop, and it will all fit in here. The next item, I chose the Chanel Boy Wallet. So I used the O in boy as the O in my name. And I know it's a cheat, but I absolutely love this wallet. This is the wallet that I have been using recently. It is the um, small boy wallet with the gold hardware, and it is in the black color. And it fits a lot. It doesn't have a ton of card slots, but I do. I don't want to show you. I have so much personal information in here. It has two card slots on either side, and then... I fit two cards in each so there's four on each side and then I leave cards loose in here and then I also put cards in here and then if you need cash I just usually fold it one time this one's folded a couple times and just stuck in here 
um, but normally you can just fold it in half and stuff it in here like my receipt for the bank this is like a dollar bill size so you can just fold it once and stick it right in here and I don't like to keep coins in my nice wallets is the Owen Shannon and again I cheated I used the O for boy and I kind of I got away with that I'm sorry <laughs> okay so last but not least for the last N in my name I decided to show you guys my petite Noe. So this bag here is very old. It's very used. I bought this on the Fashion File Outlet store. This was $335 on the Fashion File Outlet and it had a clean interior. You can't even really see in there. I don't really want to undo the knot anyway. Um, but it was missing, it was missing a tie. And I knew just the place to go because I'm sure all of you or most of you have heard of Motto Handbags on Etsy. She has an Etsy shop and she's been wonderful. I have ordered from her several times and every time I've had good experiences. Um, I believe that this took a while to get in. I think I want to say that this took a while to come in and I'm not sure why. I think she hand makes them. Um... But this matched my leather trim. So like to me, I can tell it's not Louis Vuitton. Um, but it doesn't bother me because it looks so... It's not like it's a replica, but it's just... It looks so similar that anyone just walking past me wouldn't be able to tell that it wasn't Louis Vuitton unless they were like an avid lover like us. Um, but yeah, this is a really nice bag. Um, it's pretty carefree. I don't baby it because it does have use on it. It just, that's what I love about this bag. I love that it's so like casual, carefree. Um, I mean, people spend more than that on like a Michael Kors bag. So the fact that I got this for such a good deal and I mean, even the shoulder strap, it's, it's worn, it's used, but it's not cracked. I mean, it does have like some like signs of like cracking a little bit but not to the point where it's like actually breaking I mean there's like it looks like this so I mean it's just so carefree I can use this when it's raining I don't care um because it's I mean like I said the damage is done it's not something that I'm like crazy about so um crazy about is in I'm crazy about messing it up I'm cr I love this bag I think it's absolutely great um someone just did I know her name starts the I think her name's Chantel and I'm so bad with names I apologize if I don't remember you I remember you but I don't remember your name yes so I was right Chantel Shanti and I will link her down below as well she is on insta uh, she's on YouTube as well and she was doing a video on which bag she thought should be her first Louis Vuitton. And I said the Palm Springs PM. Um, she also had like the Nano in there. She had the Palm Springs Mini. She had the Noe. And I think one other bag. And I think that the Palm Springs out of all those, because they're not really typical first bags, just don't love the, the Mini backpack. I like it on other people. I don't think it's something that I would enjoy for myself. Um, and that's totally fine. I wouldn't pick it as my first piece. Um, I mean, I picked classics for my first piece, like Neverfulls or Speedies. Um, however, I do think this is a great bag to have in your collection. Um, absolutely. I think that this bag is so good. It could be dressed up, dressed down. It is very casual, but I've seen it styled on Pinterest with so many different cute outfits. And that's why I wanted this to begin with. I saw it so much on Pinterest and I knew I wanted vintage. I love the vintage look of it. The used look of it. It's just so like worn and loved. And I think if it's one bag that I wanted to look worn, it was this. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And thank you so much to Lux Handbag Lover for tagging me. It means so much to me. I was so excited when you tagged me and knew I had to film this as soon as possible. And thank you, Mel, for starting this tag. I think that's so creative and innovative. Um, I wouldn't have come up with something like this, but it's really fun, and it really feels nice to be a part of the community and share with you guys. 
Um, so I really appreciate everybody with their welcoming words and kind words and thoughts um, and the great conversations I've had with people in DMs or comments. You guys really are just wonderful and it feels so good to be able to talk about my hobby with other people because most of the time I'm just in my room talking to myself on a camera and if I didn't have Instagram as a platform I wouldn't have continued to film and upload videos and I really feel like this is my chance to just do what I love as a hobby not as you know trying to make a dream out of it but really to just have fun and share my thoughts with you guys and do stuff like this have fun and do tag videos like the good old days um like 2008 youtube i mean i made videos when i was that young um because i'm 20 i'm 20 years old and i started making videos when i was eight years old and um i deleted and privated everything so i'm really really happy to finally be growing into who I actually am and feeling confident and comfortable enough with myself to be on camera and actually post it and share with you guys and not care if someone from my town sees it, if my teacher who scared me and literally traumatized me sees it, I don't care because I'm doing what makes me happy. And I encourage any of you, if you have ever questioned whether you want to start a channel or start a certain job or start a luxury Instagram, whatever you may want to do, I encourage you to just take the plunge. Life is too short and I think especially with everything going on in the world right now that we should just seriously do what makes us happy while we are still here and healthy um, and just worry about the rest later <laughs> or just don't worry about it at all. So again, thank you so much for being here. I hope you guys subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content from me and give it a thumbs up and comment any questions or comments you may have, recommendations. I will be happy to hear them and write them down and plan for future videos. So thank you again and I love you guys. I will talk to you soon. Bye.